ever look at a Pokeball and think, man, I would love to bite into that. Me neither, but that's what we're gonna do today. I had this vision making these beautiful bonbon chocolates, but they look like Pokeballs because that's what my boyfriend is into. And so we're gonna make him happy by making some bonbon Pokeball chocolates. Not only will these chocolates be shaped like Pokeballs and painted like Pokeballs, but they will be in different flavors based on things that my boyfriend likes. <laughs> Hi, it's the Ninjin, and this is me pretending like I know how to make chocolates and hoping that my boyfriend likes them. So, although I'm not a chocolate chef, I did do a lot of research on the kinds of chocolates that I wanted to make. And so I'm hoping to make these beautiful, shiny, round bonbons. Hopefully they have the different types of Pokeballs painted onto them. We're gonna be making the basic white and red Pokeball, the love ball, and then we're gonna be making the dusk ball. Why did I choose these balls? These nuts. <laughs> I chose these I chose these Pokeballs based on the flavors that I decided to go with. So the regular Pokeball is going to be a little bit adventurous. This is a flavor that I have not seen anybody do. So this chocolate is going to be white chocolate, tahine, and chamoy flavored. Yeah, I know it's a, probably a disgrace that I'm doing this, but it just came to me. We'll see, we'll see if it tastes good. And the next flavor is gonna be the love ball. So it's gonna be white chocolate, strawberry uh, filling. And the last flavor is the dust ball. And that one will be uh, the one I'm most worried about. That one's gonna be an avocado flavored chocolate with a salted caramel center. For all these chocolates, I'm gonna be using white chocolate just because that's what I know my boyfriend likes. So yeah, just based on those descriptions, uh, I don't know, leave a comment and tell me which one sounds the best uh, tasting. Cause right now I think I'm thinking on, you know, the strawberry one sounds like the safest option that'll probably taste um, decent. I'm gonna start with all the non-ingredient materials that I use to make these chocolates. So I bought a kind of more expensive polycarbonate mold because I heard it affects the texture of the chocolate which I can explain more later in the video. I got oil-based pigments because you do not want to add any extra water into your chocolate. I got silicone bowls because the silicone won't retain heat as much as glass or like a metal will. You'll need something to polish the inside of your molds with, so I got these cotton rounds that are used for makeup, but a microfiber cloth works well too. Most of the videos that I watched advise they use a thermometer because temperature is really important when you're working with chocolate. For my decoration purposes, I got these little tiny paint brushes. As far as chocolate goes, the type of chocolate that you use for these kinds of bonbons is really important. You'll want to use 100% pure cocoa butter to mix with your pigments to paint the outside of the bonbons, as well as real chocolate, which I didn't know what real chocolate was till now. So I'm going to start with the fillings first and then we'll get to the chocolate. So I'm going to show you how I made the strawberry filling. So I prepped the strawberries, washed them, cut the stems off. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at cutting things. Um, I once tried cutting a mango and I didn't even know there was a pit in the middle of the mango. So I was just, you know, going ham on it and it wouldn't cut and then yeah, I realized. They are cut now in halves and I'm going to go put them on the stove. So I put lemon juice, cane sugar, I think it was cane sugar unless my boyfriend lied to me about what sugar he bought, and I just mixed it around. And you're going to leave that on medium heat and let it simmer for a little bit, make sure it's covered. And while that's happening, you can make the weird flour goo that we're going to put in it later. So you're really supposed to use cornstarch, but I didn't have any, so they said you could use like double the flour amount. So after your strawberries have simmered for a little bit, they should be soft enough to start smashing. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to put the yummy goo flour stuff into it. Make sure you're mixing it as you're putting it in. I made the mistake of not doing that, so it came out a little bit clumpy. Mmm, yummy. It looks so good. No, but honestly, I tasted it and it tasted pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm gonna put it in a bag and then we're gonna do a little put the corner of the bag thing to pipe it in later. 
Okay, so I could have made my own caramel, you know, I totally could have made my own caramel, but I think it'd just be easier if I just get this salted caramel topping and use that. And next is the avocado filling. Exciting. Okay, so we're gonna chop this up. Ta da! Oh, and then I tried to do this really cool thing with the knife where I stick it into the pit and then pull it out, but that didn't work, so I just kind of shimmied it and then it came out, and I think it was pretty cool. Scooped it out and then started smashing it like you want to smash that subscribe button. No? Oh, okay. It was worth a try. Now we're going to simmer our heavy cream and then get the chocolate ready. Mix the chocolate in with the avocado that we just smashed and pour the simmered heavy cream over the chocolate and avocado. It will slowly melt the chocolate and then you can put the bowl in the fridge to cool and then it will get to this creamy consistency. And now we will make our cocoa butter colors. This is what the cocoa butter chips look like and it smelled super strong. So you want to microwave them for no more than 30 seconds at a time and you do not want them to burn. Yes, you could use a double boiler method, but I decided to go with the microwave method. And it comes out basically looking like melted butter. And here are the oil-based food coloring colors that I decided to use. The white was very chunky for some reason and was very difficult to mix, but I mixed it in just like this. At some point I began to die from the uh, strong smell of cocoa butter and I had to go put on a gas mask. But yeah, you want to put a good amount of pigment inside the cocoa butter because you don't want it to be too thin because you're going to be putting thin layers onto the shell and the colors won't show up as great. Yeah, but I made black, green, white, red, and pink. And when they cool, they get solid like this. And when you're ready to use them, you want to actually temper it. To temper it, you want to get it to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit and then drop the temperature down to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, mixing it constantly. Mixing is a big part of tempering the chocolate. So what is tempering? I'm not going to go into too much detail because this video is not really about tempering, but it is basically aligning the crystals in the chocolate to get it to be smooth and the right texture and you get that nice snap when you bite into the chocolate, as well as that shiny outer shell. Now we are going to prep the mold. It's very important to polish the mold because you want to make sure there's no imperfections inside the mold so you get that nice smooth shell. Using a high quality polycarbonate mold will help to release your chocolates from the mold when they cure because properly tempered chocolate likes to shrink when it cures. And to achieve the stripe in the middle of the pokeball we will be needing some tape. I cut out these long strips and this is how the mold looks. Okay, so I kind of wanted to like give these a try. They just look like white chocolate, but like yellower. It has a really strong chocolatey smell. Yeah, it has like a texture like white chocolate. Like no, it's kind of sweet, not really sweet. Very buttery, well it's cocoa butter. It's not, not bad. Now you got your pigment ready and we're going to paint the red part of the first Pokeball. I put two to three layers on it just to get an even coating, but try not to make it too thick. Then I began to paint those green dots onto the dusk ball. This ended up being very difficult because the color was really runny, so I tilted the mold a lot to keep the dots from running off. Then I put some white behind the green because I wanted the color to pop against the black that I was going to put under that. I started out trying to put hearts on the love ball, um, but it was very difficult because it was basically like watercolor. I just put the pink under it. I couldn't find the footage because things were getting crazy, but as you can see here, I put the black on top of the dusk ball dots that I painted. And now it was time to take off the tape. And this is where things started to head south. No, I made God. the mistake of painting too much on no, the tape, God, and so when I peeled no. the tape, the shells broke. You can tell I started losing my mind from the way my camera strap was in the frame, and I did not care. I was in too deep at this point, so I decided to just repaint the ones that I could, and I proceeded to add the lines in the middle of the Pokeballs. And now it was time to temper the white chocolate inner shells. Heated it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time, 
make sure you don't overheat it. You'll want it to come out of the microwave with some small chunks in it so that they can melt as you mix it. Get the temperature to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and then drop the temperature down to 87 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use the seeding method to help cool the chocolate down faster as well as help the crystallization process. The seeding method is basically adding whole already tempered chips into your chocolate and mixing it in as it cools. Then I'm going to fill the molds which I probably should have used a piping bag for because things started to get crazy again. But it's okay, because I ended up having these wonderful, nice shells. Yay! So I let them set for a bit, and then I got my first filling. The strawberry jam type filling, and I started piping that in. It was very, uh, like, fibrous, I guess, and it was hard to pipe out. Then I put my wonderful homemade caramel in there. He he he. Wink wink. And then I piped in the avocado white chocolate ganache filling, which I don't know if this can be considered a ganache because I just learned what a ganache was and I still don't really understand it. Trigger warning, next we're gonna do the tahine and chamoy filling. I just put some tahine in there at the bottom and then I put like four drops of chamoy into the shells. And then I tried to seal them up. A lot of things went wrong here. I think I put too much filling in the molds. And then the chocolate started to cool before I could completely cover the tops. I also think that I should have probably got one of those metal scrapers to scrape the chocolate off instead of this flimsy uh, craft board thingy. The bottoms weren't flat, but I didn't care. I just put it in the fridge and eventually it all solidified. And now, the moment of truth. <laughs> but yeah, this is where I got to see if I correctly tempered the chocolate because it would cleanly released from the mold, but I figured because of how messy the bottoms were, we'd have some trouble taking it out. So you flip it over and you're supposed to drop it on the table really hard and they're all supposed to pop out if you did it right. But yeah, for me it took a few more taps. I could not get those last two out by tapping it, but I realized I just had to press onto one side of them and it kind of just like flipped over inside the mold. The paint job was a little bit preschool, but they came out shiny. For my first time making such a complicated chocolate, I think I did pretty well. They aren't perfect, but I did pretty well. And now we will present them to my boyfriend and see how he feels. Oh, look at these wonderful, Pokeballs. wonderful chocolate Pokeballs that I made for you. Come here. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, each one is special mm. because they have a special filling inside. Oh, so the mystery. Yes. Okay. We'll start with the original Pokeballs. Mm and I want you to taste it and tell me what you think is inside of it. Okay. So these are all the same? Is it? Yes, these ones are all the same, and then these pink ones are all the same, and then the green Okay, ones. okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you know what's inside. Okay. Boy. <laughs> Wait, I want to taste it because I... This is a very strange mix. I was not expecting chamoy <laughs> or... The spiciness. <laughs> Which don't don't bite don't bite yeah. yeah. Put it on your mouth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This was what I was worried about. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones over here, I think, are gonna be better. Uh, which one do you want? This is supposed to be dusk. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> do you want... one, love ball. Yeah. yeah. I tried. You tried. I but. <laughs> You tried it enough, and you did so good. I know. I noticed yeah, it you... immediately. Can be honest. I'm a little scared now, but <laughs> they're not gonna be weird. Is that that one's the weirdest? Th that thing. wasn't no. The yeah, everything else. Experimental. Be okay. Let's go to Love Bob because you know it's almost Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the strawberry jam. Yeah. Oh. Pardon. 
I want to try it now. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it like more. You like that one? I'm gonna try it more. Hmm. Yeah. So far, I like that one more than the, the other one. Okay. It doesn't seem like you like it very much. <laughs> okay. Now, do that one. This one. Okay. This one's a very interesting one. This one's gonna be hard to guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I want to say peanut butter, but you're just taking peanuts, so you know. Ligger Liggerish? No. Mm -hmm. So the flavors berry. inside each one kind of mm -hmm. has to do with the color on the outside. Mm. Blueberry? No. <laughs> oh, look. I can't really tell. For, for sure, I like it more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd like this one more. Why? What is it? What do you like a lot of? <laughs> What's your favorite thing that you like a lot of? <laughs> that depends. Like, well, I'm winning on. It's like hot sauce, but. <laughs> no, I like hot sauce. Yeah, I like hot sauce, but that's for sure. Okay, I'll just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's avocado oh. ganache, white chocolate ganache oh. with uh, salted caramel. Oh, okay. Yes, it, I don't know if yeah, the ones that you got didn't have them. It was very familiar tasting. Yeah. So this one's your favorite, the dust ball. Yes. <laughs> Why? Then, what's wrong with the What's wrong with the love ball? The love ball. Yeah. It's the whole texture. Mm -hmm. I feel like the the jam or jelly you use is more like for like sandwiches and not like for like filling. Mm, okay. So I'll tell you how I made it. Yeah, I get strawberry mm -hmm. and I mash them up. You know, and I put sugar in it and lemon juice and Flour to it up. Oh, okay. And then I cook down the stove. And this kind of uh, filling was supposed to be like a cake filling or like a dessert filling. Mm -hmm. So I used it for these. Okay. Mm, yeah. This one's just a no. No, that one. <laughs> oh. And I'm glad I got to try it. So I'm, you know, I'm happy you did that. Mm -hmm. No, no, not to uh, ever do it myself. <laughs> I want to eat more of it just to, you know, see it, but I don't know. Mm. I forgot to film an outro, but hey, you made it to the end of the video! I'm hoping to do more Asian anime and gaming centered content on this channel. And of course, if I could make it food related, that would be great. So I hope to see you guys again soon. But if you want to hear from me sooner, follow my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm on those platforms the most. Oh yeah, please leave a comment on the video. I'd love to hear feedback about what you thought of the chocolates, maybe something I could have done differently. Thank <laughs> you.